I took some time this week as I was uh, preparing to write this sermon to sit with a uh, new piece of art installed here at St. Paul's. It's at least new for me. Uh, I think it has been in the archives for a decade or two. I think it used to hang in the narthex as well. So uh, some folks who have been here longer than I may not be a new piece. Uh, But the piece is called Palm Sunday. And uh, it uh, depicts the um, um, events that we mark this day. I took some time with it this week. It is beautiful, full of color, and I commend its beauty to all of you. Take a look at it as you leave today. It's actually right outside the narthex. Right in the middle of the piece is a colt, a donkey. And it inspired me to think about this one particular character who sometimes gets lost in the events on this day, that being the colt, the donkey. The donkey, both in our time as well as in ancient Palestine, was not an animal with a particularly regal reputation. The animal did, however, play an important role in ancient culture. The donkey was primarily a working animal using for, used for transporting and plowing and generally being useful to humans. In a few words, the donkey was ordinary, nothing special, common. We read in today's uh, Gospel for Palm Sunday that Jesus sent two of his disciples ahead of him to secure a colt. But a much more appropriate animal for Jesus to mount as he entered the holy city triumphantly, surrounded by kingly praises, would have been a horse, the animal of combat. This means that this choice of Jesus is to get a donkey was important and intentional, something we should pay attention to. The fact that Jesus rode in on a work animal is shocking, but it can teach us so much about Jesus and the life to which he calls us. Words like humility and meekness come to mind. Jesus chose not to exalt himself as a king might or would have. Paul speaks to this when he said in his letter to the church in Philippi, Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself. Jesus did not come to conquer in might, but rather he came through humility to be the peacemaker of the world. There's something else in here that I think is important we grasp, too. Something else Jesus was always up to in his work and ministry was taking the ordinary and blessing it. Taking the lost and finding it. Taking the broken and healing it. This was no different in Jesus' choosing an ordinary, nothing special, common donkey to be his mode of transportation into the holy city. And in his work and ministry, by lifting up the lowly and making the lowly special, Jesus fulfilled a prophecy made by his mother years before when she sang in her song, He has cast down the mighty from their thrones. He has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. God's work in Jesus was always about taking the ordinary and making it holy, giving it meaning and purpose. Jesus even did this from the cross, in his dying moments, by exalting the common thief hanging next to him, giving that man purpose in his own death. And to us, in a most meaningful way, Jesus makes himself known to us too, in the most common, ordinary, nothing special elements of wine and bread. In these two most basic foodstuffs, Jesus comes to us 
just as Jesus chose a lowly donkey to, to, de to deliver himself into the city of Jerusalem, Jesus elevates wine and bread and makes them his home so that he may dwell in us and we in him. I do wonder what the cult thought as he was chosen for this important task bearing the Savior of the world into Jerusalem. I can hear that poor, poor donkey perhaps reluctantly telling the two disciples that they should rather get a horse for Jesus. I can hear the horses in the stables saying that they are the ones who have been properly preened and primped for such a triumphal entry as this. And I can hear the two disciples answering back that their master specifically asked for the lowly donkey. As we begin our journey into Holy Week, walking with Jesus toward his cross, I challenge us to be mindful of all the common and ordinary elements of the stories through which we will journey this week. Find meaning in the bread and wine, the water in the foot washing basin on Monday, Thursday evening, the plants in the Garden of Gethsemane, the cock that crows twice, the wood of the cross, the hard stone of the tomb. I pray that we will find this week in these common and ordinary things an intimate encounter with our Lord, who is always about making the common holy.